because he scored good marks in it. He's a he is very good at Carnatic music and playing Carnatic instrument Veena. Please help me welcome youth leader Padma Karthik Jyoti. The title of his speech is Making a Difference. Making a Difference, you see the Padma Kartu. What you do makes a difference. And it depends on you, but what difference you want. These words were said by Jane Goddard, the famous British animal behavior scientist. Respected Chief Balbi Coordinator, Youth Leader of the Day, Rebel and Toastmasters, Distinguished Guests, and my fellow Youth Leaders. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. One day, when I was studying in grade 5, my father told me that we are going to visit a special place. My excitement knew no bounds because I was going to go alone with my father, leaving my sister behind. And so, we sat in the car and we are going to our destination. And when we reached there, the place was completely unfamiliar and strange. Dad, where are we? Why are we here? I asked to my father. My father, with a smiling face, replied, Karthik, you will come to know soon. Kept on wondering, what are you going to do here? Only after a few minutes did I realize that we were in the National Association for the Blind. But my mind went like a supercomputer. Why did he bring me here? What am I going to do here? And many thoughts flooded in my mind. As we went by, we saw many children cracking jokes, laughing happily, and walking in an orderly fashion, just like any other school atmosphere. But I noticed one thing that was different. As I bypassed one student, I noticed that he was visually challenged. I felt a pang of sadness when I came to know that they were blind. They deserve to be able to experience the beauty of our world. Yet, they never gave up and tried to learn more and more by using the language of Braille. Yet, they still have a cheerful face and this thought has made me keep on telling why are they cheerful and happy. Soon, my father took me to a classroom and then he greeted the students. I was really surprised by their joyful welcome and greetings. Unlike we, whom we greet our teachers with a mechanical voice in schools. Then my father told, Today Karthik will take class for you. I was shocked. How can I take class for them? They are a senior to me and what am I going to teach? And my father continued, Karthik, please explain your friends about the marvels of the solar system. Friends, this was the first table topic of my life. And thankfully, I already knew about the solar system. And so I started nervously, and my legs were shaking. But the encouraging response that my enthusiastic students gave had motivated me. My speech was for 30 minutes. And those 30 minutes had changed my life. I realized that my simple activity had made a difference in them. I could feel that my efforts had created a spark of interest, a spark of curiosity in their minds about the solar system. Perhaps they realized that there is a world far beyond their limitations. From that point onwards, I made sure that I would make frequent visits there. And I really did do. I felt a strange bond. They became my friends and I was happy in their company. This tryst with my cyclist friends had gone for three years. And I was heartbroken to know that I had to leave India and come here to Saudi Arabia. And I was heartbroken because I had to take a break in my teaching profession, just like how my mother took her break. Though she is happy, I am sad. Yet, later, when I came back to India, just last year, I didn't have time to visit them. So, I decided that I would just call them. So, 
I dialed the number, called, and said hello. The person at the receiving end said, Pardon me, sir, if I am wrong, but am I speaking to Jyoti sir's son, Karthik? I was surprised. How did he know that my name is Karthik? How did he know my father's name? Only after a few minutes did I realize that the person I was talking to was one of my first pupils whom I taught about his whole sister. This incident kept lingering in my mind and I realized that actions are more important than the fruit of actions. We all must do the right thing to the right people at the right time. Gestures or your efforts can at least bring a change to one life. And these chains are in a good way. We all have this capability, but we must use it wisely. Volunteering is the best way to repay those who have helped us in our road to success. Directly or indirectly, many people are helping us in our daily lives. For example, if you all came here to this meeting by any means, you haven't come here just by your efforts. Even the fuel that your vehicle used was the result of many people's hard work. How do we repay them? A wise man named Padma Kartik said, if you want to help me, you help another. So why not we use this principle that the wise man named Padma Kartik said? <laughs> Helen Keller once said, if you have the power, make someone happy, then do it. The world needs more of that. So why not we instead of donating monies to them, spend a little time with them and enjoy the time. Even they are human beings and even they deserve to be like us. We must volunteer not for the praise or fame, but we must volunteer because we can. Because we can make them feel that their lives is precious. Because we can make them, because we can show that there is sunlight and there is a ray of hope in their lives. Together, we all can make a difference. Okay.